Hi there everyone. Something a little bit different this, this month. Well, this will be for the December issue of Airgun World. I bought some time ago now, quite a few months ago, a second-hand pre-loved Crossman 600, which uh, it's a little bit unconventional looking. Looks a bit man from uncle-ish with the addition of the Donny FL Tanto moderator, but you can still use the open sights with the Slim Tanto in, in place. So here's my review of this pistol, and by way of comparing it power-wise with other air pistols, I've also chronoed my 2.2 Webley Hurricane and my 177 Webley Tempest. And coming at the end of the video, I've got a quirky suggestion of how we can get consistent power levels like you get from these pistols from a perfectly UK legal three to four foot pound air pistol like this. This uh, testing with the second hand Crossman 600 here with the Donny FL Tanto fitted, um, nice and compact moderator. You can just use the open sights with it fitted and it really hushes down things despite the gas operated action, the, re the reloading arm. I've just done two sparklets worth, worth of chrono tests at sort of slow speed, one with a, cro a cold 12 gram sparklet, then one with a warm sparklet, well, warmish that's been in my pocket for half an hour. And then I did a rapid fire, sort of three 10 shot bursts, if you like, pausing the video before each one. And that str shot string was the only one where there were no missed shots, no duff shots, no burps, where it misfired or fired more than one pellet at once, a quick succession. And also just as consistent as the rest of the shot strings. So this fella likes to be shot rapidly. And I would say, I have to play back the video in slow-mo to be sure, but it's close to being able to shoot seven to 10 shots per second if your finger's fast enough. This fella is an awesome piece of kit. It's quirky and it's not gonna win any uh, awards for consistency, but this is second hand, um, bought from one of the kind guys on the Aegon BBS. So thanks again, that man. I had to change the Parker Hale moderator that came with it for the Donny FL Tanto, partly because a uh, fortnight ago at Gark, um, the Parker Hale moderator, it sounded okay for a couple of shots and then nothing came out of it. And then I unscrewed it and several pellets tumbled out of it. And right now, if I hold it there, you can't see through it. You should be able to see daylight through that and you can't. So there's obviously blockage. It looks like it's got a knurled cap at one end and there's a four indented holes at the other end, four little divots. So there's probably a specialist tool to remove the rear cap where the half inch UNF female thread is. But uh, yeah, this is unusable at the moment because it's clearly blocked. But the Donny FL Tanto is working very, very nicely. And I chose the Tanto because as you can imagine, you can just use the open sights, just the tip of the foresight blade. You can just see that over the top of the moderator. You certainly couldn't use the open sights and use the Donny FL Fatboy 2.0 because it's just too, too big a, a diameter. Too much girth, as they say. So, uh, yeah, fascinating testing. Very enjoyable pistol to shoot. Each time I shoot it, I fire um, three 10 shot strings, whether at the club or here over the chrono. Then I fire off another 10 or 15 shots without any pellets in, because uh, basically by then, by about 30 shots, I think the gas pressure's starting to drop, and I certainly don't want any pellets stuck in the action or stuck in the barrel. So, but 30 shots out of a 12 gram is, is okay at these sort of uh, power levels. So, uh, yeah, testing continues. And I'm looking forward to using it tonight at Gark at 10 meters and see how well it groups uh, now that I, I adjusted the sights last time I used it a fortnight ago, which is the day I got it, basically. This one should be a blank. Yes. Okay, loading the magazine. I'll put the torch on so you can see it. 
So you guys, have any idea if Chris is coming tonight? I think he is. You pull that back and retain it. And then it takes 10 round head pellets and you drop them in the loading gate and slide each one back. So it takes 10 in here. Two, three, four, five, whoops, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there we go. It's already cocked. So safety off. Uh, I'll pop the torch back off. And that's how quickly you can use the uh, gas up. <laughs> That should be enough, enough light. Uh, only recorded nine of the shots. But that's two and a half foot pounds. What I was going to do. Two five seven. So a fair spread there. So I'll fire another ten across. And that's without the lights. But now the darker nights are coming on, it's really if you get these lights all the time. But what happens? Either so or, back on. we have to try either the way. Well, we're we'll just going to suck it and see the rain until we find the best way. Nine shots registered again. 2.7. And again, one was lower powered, which I think he spotted. It's maybe not obvious here, but I have noticed you do also get slightly. Uh, Dirty fingers handling the um, Crossman Premier pellets. <coughs> could be they've been washed and lubed and there's a little bit of uh, oil on them, or it could just be the way they come. And as you can see, accuracy wise, on the Gark indoor 10 meter pistol range, I was able to put 30 shots, three batches of 10, into about a four or five inch group. Not firing too fast here because I didn't want the, uh, the the gas to chill down and for the, the shots to drop low. But that's that's pretty impressive. I was very, very happy with this. Okay, so I just dusted off my 177 Webley Tempest and using 7 grain RWS Diablo Basics, i.e. flatheads, I fired 22 shots to stabilise the power. And then once it has settled down, here we have... 10 shots over the chrono, 2.7 foot pounds, 415 average, and a spread of just 16 feet per second. Brilliant. 2.7 foot pounds. That's about double what I'd get from a 177 CO2 pistol, but well within the UK legal limit for an air pistol. Brilliant. And you really know when this fella's firing, it sort of kicks a bit. And uh, it's not loud, but yeah, it's very satisfying. Just about to put 10 shots across the chrono, but interestingly, the first six shots I just put across using the 11.9 grain RWS basic flatheads, um, a lot more consistent than the Tempest was. So six shots, 3.7 foot pounds, 374. Bit more of a spread at 67 feet per second, but uh, 3.7 foot pounds is decent power, and yeah, there's a fair spread. So I'm just going to put 10 shots across it. Hopefully, it'll settle down a bit, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Okay, so that 10 shots was very, very oh, very consistent, and it averaged exactly four foot pounds, 389 feet per second. 
a spread of only 23. Superb. Admittedly, I didn't have to fire as many shots to sort of bed this one in because I have used this one. It's a year or two ago now, but I last used this one when I did an article on upgrading the grip. <laughs> Correction, that was actually four years ago. It's in the August 2019 issue of Airgun World. So I'll put a link down below to uh, this Flickr album for those of you who'd like more information about that. Using um, aftermarket, I think it was an ASI compact grip I bought, and I adapted it to fit the frame of the Webley Hurricane, which, as you know, is just a slightly longer barrel and a slightly longer sight radius, but otherwise is basically a Webley Tempest. So exactly four foot pounds is perfect. Superb, I might actually use these two at the club soon. Oh, and just to show you how much dieseling this makes, here's one shot over the chrono. And if I just unlock the barrel, lift it up and there's the smoke out of the barrel from the dieseling. What a pistol though. Well, it's a very tight fit in my palm, but that is actually, that's actually a superb fit. With that, as a, although it can't be a target pistol being 2-2, two -two, that is, uh, that's an awesome pistol. I'll definitely use that at the club again soon. Brilliant. And as always, with Webley Tempest or Hurricane, so you cannot put the safe down until it's cocked which is a great cocking status indicator. I love it when air guns have that. Superb. So what did I allude to in my article that this video accompanies? Well, through the ages, pistols are, are no stranger to having lanyards attached, right back to Zulu days. And more modern pistols, you can still buy belt lanyards, but picture a modern air pistol running at four foot pounds off compressed air tank on your belt, with a remote hose, I for one would be perfectly happy to use those if someone like Umarex brought, brought a range out. You have a QD connector on the base of the, the pistol, you snap on a, a best fittings connection and you run at your air pistol whatever the weather and you don't have the uh, all the temperature vulnerabilities and inconsistencies that we get up here in Scotland in winter running 12 gram CO2. So, just a thought, but uh, I'd love to see that and then let, not have the waste of 12 gram CO2 cartridges getting thrown away. Let me know what you think.